is so important to work on balance. This does, of course, help prevent falls, but it also helps increase your confidence. And you know what they say, confidence is key. So today our main exercise is going to be a tandem stand, looking at balance. But first we're going to look at a mobility exercise called trunk twist. So you can either do this in a stand position or a seated position. So we'll just check the posture first. So standing with feet hip distance apart and parallel. Again, if you're in the seat, hip distance and parallel. Lengthening up through the crown of the head. If you're in a seated position, make sure you're sitting on your sit bones, nice and tall through the crown of the head. So we're going to place the arms across the chest. Just check that your elbows are down away from your shoulders. We're going to keep the pelvis nice and still as we rotate around to the left. So you're rotating the spine around to the left and then bringing it back through to centre and to the right and back to centre. So as you do this, focus on keeping the pelvis still, so head, neck and chest and then returning chest, neck and head. So you're looking to do about five on each side and bring it back to centre, floating the arms back down by your side and relax. So our main exercise today is going to look at balance. So the exercise itself is called tandem stand. So what I want you to do is to be close by something that you might want to hold on to, so either a chair or a kitchen bench. And we're going to place one foot directly in front of the other. Standing up nice and tall in that position, we we'll want the, the weight evenly distributed throughout both feet. Holding onto a chair if you need to, or holding onto the uh, kitchen bench. And from there, if you can, just try and hold for around five seconds. And as you get better and more comfortable with it, you might want to increase the time up about 10 seconds. If you want to take this onto the next stage, you could just simply lift your hand up off the chair or bench but still keep it close by in case you feel unsteady. Once you feel like you've done it for long enough, all we need to do is to take our feet back to our original stance, feet hip width apart, standing up nice and tall. We're now going to do a stretch for the upper back. So checking the posture, you can do this in a seated or standing position. You're going to take the feet slightly wider, so to a shoulder distance position. Again, facing forwards, lengthen through the crown of the head, sitting on your sit bones if you're in the chair. So take both arms out in front, just pressing the hands against each other, gently pushing away from the body as you lower the head to look down towards the floor. So you should be feeling a nice stretch on the upper back. You're gonna hold this stretch for about 10 seconds. Just breathe in regular. As you, if you can, just try and deepen the stretch a little bit more by pushing the hands away from the body. And then with control, gently bring the arms back into the body and stand up nice and tall. When we become more sedentary, our balance suffers. So by challenging it throughout the day, it can help us gain confidence and reduce the risk of falling. And if you enjoy doing those exercises, you can find even more on the Gateshead Older People's Assembly website, or you can give them a call.